Good afternoon and welcome back to another Yakuza Kiwami 2. Let's play episode 7. I can never remember. I check like three times before I start recording and then I'm like, uh, is that correct? Anyways, we're starting the, uh, uh, what's the name of, oh, but you go away. The Cabaret Club Grand Prix Saga. So, I know there's, I tried to move forward a bit just to see if I could just get started, but there are cutscenes at the start that I don't want you guys to miss. So I reloaded an earlier save, actually the save from when I walked into the back room. Luckily that didn't erase. Actually, I should save before I forget. Because I haven't saved in a minute. I would be sad. So we're going to uh, get through those cutscenes and then once I'm free to grind, we'll cut and then when the important stuff happens, I'll come back. Oh, Kiryu-san. Thanks for all your hard work. Wanted to explain how the Kaibre Club League works and a few more details about running the club. Do you have a sec? Yep. Yeah, thanks. Great. Let's just start at the top then. Cabaret Club Grand Prix, your goal in this tournament is to win the league matches and make uh, Forshine the number one club in the country. Victory is determined by how much profit you rack up during a single operation. Partner up with store the stores of Satin Bori to increase your fan base, recruit more members for your crew, and prepare for the ultimate battle of sales. Talk to Yuki whenever you're in the club to open a menu that allows you to organize which girls will work and perform other club operations. As uh, as Forshine's rank goes up, several matches and sub-stories will begin to open up affiliated with the affiliated league's cl uh, champion club. By defeating the champion club, Forshine can challenge other league and obtain platinum hostesses. So be proactive in progressing through the story as well as operation battles. By growing the club consistently, you'll be able to make large sums of money more efficiently. Work hard uh, to make your club bigger and take down your rival clubs. And lead Forshine to become the number one club in Japan. Well, that pre that's pretty much the big picture. Need me to repeat anything? Nope. Yeah. Nope. That mostly made sense. But what about the Cabaret Club Grand Prix? How do we make progress there? Oh yes, that. Cabaret Club Grand Prix is made up of four leagues, and by taking down the f uh, first place club in the league, you can earn the right to enter other leagues. Since Forshine just entered the competition, they will have to start from the fresh league. Your first order of business is to run through normal operation and raise the club's uh, profit ranking. Of course, growing our customer base is the only way that will increase sales. We'll cast a wider net if we partner up with local businesses in the area, so keep an eye out for good partners in town. In Satin Bori, there are stores that you can pay to partner up with you. Partnered venues will introduce more customers to your club, allowing you to increase Four Shines fan count even further. And since there are more... Uh, and since more fans means more customers, your sales will shoot through the roof. So if you can find a place that catches your eye, strike up a deal and to become their business partner. No problem. I'm out on the streets a lot, so I'm sure I'll uh, see some opportunities. That's great. Thank you. And lastly, good morning. Oh, morning, Kayuki-chan. Kiryu-san. I'm looking forward to looking forward with you, working with you again. Uh. Yeah, likewise. I think we'll need a bigger roster if we're going to survive this. You're right. All the customers in the world won't matter if we don't have the staff to handle them. You can also put out rec uh, rec uh, recruitment ads to get more girls for the club by selecting scouting from the menu and paying the appropriate fee. You can try your hand at recruiting. It is not guaranteed that a girl will immediately join your club, however, however, so work that charm and keep on recruiting. Also, there are some girls that will only join you by clearing certain sub-stories, so pull out all the stops to amass the best girls and gather the feminine force to take down rival clubs. 
So we have to partner with businesses and recruit new hostesses at the same time. Cabaret clubs are hard work. They are. But as long as we do our part, we're bound to get stronger and see even better returns. I think you'll make a great manager if you put your mind to it, Kiryu-san. I hope so. Okay. Well, looks like the Cabaret Grand Prix is finally starting. Oh, great. I guess you better fill me in on how this whole thing works. Yeah, I don't know too many details myself. What can you tell us, Yuki-san? Oh, that's right. Where do I start? Allow me. When did you get here? Ah, it's... Buono Isuzaki. Greetings, indeed, it is I. Uh, Buono Izuzaki. I'm already not sure about this guy. He's the official play-by-play -play announcer for the Cabaret Club Grand Prix. Nobody knows Cabaret Clubs better than him. He spices things up with tournament, the tournament with commentary for spectators. Oh, so why exactly is he here now? Well, being that Forshine was invited into the tournament via special exception, I had to see the club for myself. Nothing tells you more than your own two eyes. Words I live by, my man. Oh, just the precision I expect from the official tournament tournament announcer. But my, 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 to think the legendary hostess herself in a club like this. It is her. What was I saying? Past me? Well, for you, this would be like yesterday past, but for me, it was like... 15 minutes ago. Legendary hostess. You didn't know? Back in the day, Yuki-san was the number one hostess in Satinbori. She was my whole inspiration for getting into this industry. Really? That's incredible, Yuki-san. Enough about me. It, it's all in the past. I'm just a regular old lady now. Anyway, on with the explanation. Oh, that's right. Let's discuss the Cabaret Clay... Cabaret Club Leagues of the Grand Prix. Yes, let's. Firstly, Cabaret Clubs are divided into four different leagues. We got the first... Okay, the Fresh League, where new clubs like yourself land in hopes of finally finding your identity. The uh, Vivacious Paradise League, home of the Playboys and the Merrymakers. A never-ending gala. The exclusive league drawing the most upper crust clientele who scrutinize even the finest service. The millionaire league dominated by multi-millionaires who throw around uh, cash like confetti. And finally, the Cabaret Club Grand Prix Final Championship. Each league is home to 100 clubs and in order to dominate the league you must aim for the highest sales among them. Obviously you'll be starting with the clubs in the fresh league for shine. Okay, what happens when we take the top spot? Should you race to first place in a league, you earn the right to challenge the league champion. And who would that be? Simply the reigning victor of the league, my man. The strongest of all 100 clubs. And a club, uh, and always a club ran by the uh, Kanzaki, Kanzaki group, by the by. So Kanzaki is more than just hot air. That means if we defeat the champion, we could take, we take the title yes. away? That's correct. And it affords you the right to challenge other leagues. Follow that to its logical conclusion where you become the champion of all the leagues. Yeah, then what? Then, the true Cabaret Club Grand Prix begins as you challenge the Grand Champion. The Grand Champion. And that current Grand Champion is... The largest club in the Kentucky group with the highest sales in the nation. To bold renowned Satinbori Sunshine. Sunshine, that's the club Carrara, that Carrara woman runs. So the best, so beat the Gonzaki group, we need to conquer all four leagues and then take down Sunshine. Yikes, it's a long road ahead of us, huh? Yep, I wish I could say it would be easy too. But we just have to buckle up and ride over to Sun, Sun, Sunshine and run them down. That's the right attitude. Yeah, I'll do what I can too. Maybe small, but you got the gumption for shine. I shall see you at the tournament, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for the explanation, Buono-san. 
Poor Shine. I feel like this could get interesting. Are you also like in his back pocket? So the curtain rises on the Cabaret Club Grand Prix. Poor Shine is in the Fresh League. That's your department, Kana. Yes. Not that I'm uh, not that I imagine they have an, any hope of reaching the league champion. But if they defy the odds, I expect you to crush them without hesitation. Understood? Yes. As you wish. I'm sure you come on you'll come out on top no matter how things sh shake out. You may like the experience, but your club still carries a Gonzaki group name. And I have no tolerance for anyone who disgraces us. Is that clear? Of course. I have no intention of losing. Zaki-san is capable, as capable as Kana-san is, you know she'll, she's still new to the business, right? True that. Don't think, uh, don't you think you might really be stressing her out? Kanzaki-san, you're so scary. <laughs> my apologies. Sometimes my true nature just slips out. But it just means we have high expectations we all have high expectations if you consider it a challenge. Of course. I'll give it my best. Good luck. Poor Shine. How far can they possibly go? Who knows? I'm sure Kana can handle them. That club. And Juki. They've met their end. Really? I think that'd be rather dull, honestly. Yuki-san. This isn't over between us. I wonder... I'm pretty sure... There was a Kirara... In... Zero. I am highly positive. They brought back Yuki for this. Who knows? Alright, let's make sure there's no other. Carrie san do you want to open the club? No. Okay. Well, let's see. Hold on. Let's go into the, me the menu. Okay. Scouting. Cool. We'll send out, we'll send out five. Uh, okay, so that was two. This will be three. Ooh, a gold. Four. Ooh, another gold. This will be number five. Okay, silver. Club management. Hostess list. Well, we now know what uh, those were uh, from. Serena, Watanabe, Oshima. Okay. Club status. Oh, I thought there was a hundred, but it's only showing ten. Okay. So we could probably find, get, hunt those down and do some grinding. I think how we will tackle it is like a league at a time. That makes the most sense to me. So like I was saying at the start of the episode, I'm going to do some grinding. 
do the running around, find those partner shops, get some more girls. So that way we can tackle the champion. So I'm not sure how long that's going to take. So I will see you then. Alrighty, I'm back. Done some grinding. Uh, some would be an understatement. Uh, just so that way you have some comparison. Uh, Cabaret Grand Prix, that's where we want to be. Uh, I've made it to, you know, number one. Number one slot. Cool. Um, in a good night, we make over double what the... Uh, Hiroshima Sweet Goddess makes in a night. Excellent. For comparison... That's still over Osaka Heaven's Goddess. So, um, yeah, I, I think we're good level-wise. I got the girls up quite a bit. Um, I also... Oh, because I did have some time to do some other grinding as well. Stats. Uh, the life skills page here. Completely done. Went ahead and did that because uh, we are making a lot of money. As you can see, uh... There's four mil now. So yeah, I think we're set. Before we... I'm just going to turn this up on my end a little bit. Um, We're going to go with Kai Koyuki, I think her name is. Because I know there is an interaction there, so we're going to take care of that first. See where that leads, and then head straight into the Fresh League battle. Yo, Koyuki-chan, you doing okay? Yes! Well, actually, I'm starving. It's making me a little lightheaded. You know you're allowed to take breaks, right? Would you like me to take you out to get some food? Oh, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Yay, let's go. Let's go then. Loading, loading, loading. Almost there. Come on. You can't see it because my face is blocking it. Sorry. Why do you keep restarting the bar? There we go. When you're feeling too weak to go on, the Kiyushi Katsu here will fix you right up. Meat skewers? Really? Yes, really. Order as many as you can eat. They're great. Trust me, I can afford it. Uh, okay. It is one of these interactions. I thought so. Whew. Mm -hmm. Relax. Relax. Hey, you okay? Oh, I'm just nervous. This is the first time I've been alone with you, Kiryu-san. Come on, we're just co-workers, right? No reason to be nervous here. Sorry, I knew that. But I guess I'm just kind of shy. Yuki-san or the others are around, I'm fine. But when it's just me, I tense up. Does that mean you're like this with first-time customers too? Uh, yeah. But once I get used to someone, I'm fine. Pretty incredible that you became a hostess like that. I know, right? But, but how should I fix myself? You gotta own it. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, turn it from a negative trait into something that's part of your personality. If you keep thinking of it as a bad thing, it'll only make you more nervous. I see. It's still kind of a disadvantage. Should I really just accept that? Customers have all kinds of preferences. Some even like girls who start out shy. Kiryu-san, thank you. 
I'll try to make the most of it then. Fake it until you make it. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, keep me posted. I feel, I feel less nervous already. You're an incredible manager, Kiryu san. My fearless leader. <laughs> You've got sweet talk down. Still, shyness aside, your life as a hostess has only begun, Kayuki. You're right. I'm still pretty green. Sometimes I climb up, climb up if I can't think of any topics to discuss with my customers. Topics, huh? Maybe you can discuss your hobbies? My hobbies? Should I really talk about that? Yeah, I'm sure the customers are curious about who you are, Kayuki. Don't you have any? Shopping or something? My family was always too poor for me to get into shopping. Hobbies. Hobbies. I'll come up with something. My hobby is Yuki-san. What's that supposed to mean? I love observing Yuki-san, taking her picture, then looking at the pictures later. It's a little obsessive. So that means I must... That means that must be my hobby. Kayuki, you... Um... You must really like Yuki. Yes, I really do. She's my inspiration and my life goals. I want to learn everything about her. So I have to observe her down to the tiniest detail. I see. She's like a project for you. Well, good luck becoming just like Yuki, I guess. Totally, thank you. So Kayuki, what led you to become a hostess? Was that Yuki's doing? Exactly. Yuki-san was my inspiration. I'm actually studying at college, too. Oh, you are? Yeah, but tuition is pretty expensive, so I got a part-time job at a bar. But then one day, the legendary hostess herself walked in the door. You mean Yuki, right? Yep, Yuki-san was absolutely radiant. I didn't know such beauty could exist. But then I talked to her, and she kind of, and she was kind of down to earth and weird. And that's what did it. I wanted to work with her. I wanted to be like her. Without a second thought, the next day I was banging down the door at uh, Yuki San's club. Yeah, so that's how that happened. But the more I worked, the more I saw how incredible Yuki San was, and what a mess I am. For someone as lame as me to want to be like Yuki-san, kind of ridiculous, right? It's okay to have people to look up to. Oh. That's up to you. Is it up to you, Kayuki? Up to me. Yeah. Yuki's a legendary hostess, right? So you've set the bar pretty high here. Obviously, it's going to be a long, hard road. But if you work at it, it's still possible, right? Kiryu-san. Every pro was an amateur at one time. But if you put in the work, your dream is yours for the taking. It's up to me. Then I shouldn't give up on it. Maybe awkward now, but I'll work at it. I'm gonna be as radiant as Yuki-san one day. Just you watch, Kiryu-san. Yeah. Can't wait to see. 
Man, I'm so surprised you're also in college. Are you going to your classes? Yep, I've already taken most of my GE, so I haven't been going as much lately. But my tuition is so expensive, I'm pretty much scraping by. Really? Considering that your force shines ace, I figured you'd be living well. We only started recently bringing customers in. On top of the tuition, I also cover most of my little brother's living expenses, too. After all that, there's pretty much... There isn't much left. I don't really splurge on any luxuries. Kayuki. That's admirable. Not at all, it's normal. There are tons of other girls doing this. And I'm happy. My family's great. I'm going to school. And I've got a job, too. Makes me happy to hear. You've got a lot going on, but we're all counting on you. No prob. The feeling's mutual. So I wonder if this net experience like it did in Zero. Or if this is just like a one-time thing. I don't know. Ooh, I'm stuffed. Heh, <laughs> good to hear. We should head back. Yeah. But I had fun today, kiryu san Thank you. Me too. I'm glad we got the talk. Can we do this again sometime? Sure. Good idea. Yay. Oh, yes. Experience. Wish I would have known that. I could have weaved that in between grinding. Oh, well. kiryu san do you want to open up the club? Yes. It is time for the battle. Let's see. Um, club management. Tonight shift first. Move B team away. And we... Whoop, no, first slot you. And we bring in the A team. Nope. Yep, there we go. Tayomi. Ah, uh, Psycho and Endo. Alrighty. Championship. Owned by the bygone legend Yuki. Save the league underdog. Fresh League, the Fresh League champ, the new Kazanki group club making headway thanks to its ace, Kana. Yeah, we go. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, we should. Uh. I didn't realize we had over thirty-four times more fans. At last, the Fresh League Championship. Oh, so it's finally time. I've got butterflies. That's our first one-on-one -on -one battle. And to make things worse. It's a championship match, so this will attract an audience. What makes it different from running club on any other night? I did a few of these as a hostess, even though the stakes were different back then. It was still intense. Oh, that's not what I meant. That's not what I want to hear. What if I spill on a customer or something? You'll do fine, Kayuki-chan. Fear of failure is worse than failure itself. Yuki-san. I've done everything from tripping to spilling a fruit platter on a customer's lap, and I always came out okay. Oh, so not even you are perfect, Yuki-san. I'll take the comfort in that. Work through my fingers, too. How did she recover from dropping a fruit platter on a guy? Well, the more we know about our enemy, the better we'll feel. Who are we up against here? They're called... Hiroshima Sweet Goddess, and of course, it's one of Kanza Kanzaki's. They're the newest club in the group, but their number one girl is Kana-chan, and she's spectacular. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say, uh, to say she's how they became the Fresh League champion. Yuki-san, how do you know all this? It, it's my job to know our competitors. I do research on this forum I lurk on. Uh-oh. 
but the rest of the staff there are nothing to write home about. In fact, there's rumor they've got big egos, so if we come together as a team, we can win. You've really done your homework. <laughs> Long time no see, everyone. Kanzaki. I immediately didn't expect you to climb this high. Moldy as you were, you're still a legend, Yuki-san. Excuse me? You take that back. Yuki-san's not moldy yet. What do you mean, yet? Regardless, your little rally ends here. Allow me to introduce you to Kanachan, the number one girl of Hiroshima's sweet goddess and your opponent today. It's a pleasure. So you're Kanachan. Kana has the potential to lead the next generation of hostesses. You should study her closely. And Kana, I need not remind you that failure won't be tolerated, correct? So uh, of course not, sir. Sorry, I don't plan on losing. Neither do I. Wow, this is... It is getting steamy in here or what? Let's get this battle started before it gets too hot to handle. Cabaret Club Grand Prix Fresh League Championship. Tonight, Satanbori Forsyne challenges the reigning champ, Hiroshima Sweet Goddess. We can win this. I'm with you there. I'll give it my all. Girls, let's crush it. Kanasan, please. You know you're going to win it. You're going to win if you do what you always do. We'll do our own thing. Yeah. Let's start the cabaret club battle. And now the f it's finally underway. The league championship. Fancy. Who will win the favor of Lady Luck today? I won't lose. I, we won't lose here. Cabaret Club Grand Prix, number one host. Alrighty. Average, Rich, what you gonna be? Average. Here's my... I wanna save my number one girl for a Rich. If I can. If most of the chairs are taken. Okay, they're all almost finished, so we will get our golden girl in there. And we will be doing cutscenes. I normally skip through these when I'm shotgunning them. Okay. Special orders? Anything? There we go. Help, please. That is guest class. Help, please. Towel? I'll probably be able to get an extension out of you. Extend session, excellent. Unless something else. You, help. Ashtray. Extension. Party time. Check. Gracious send off. Your health's fine. Yeah, we're we're smashing. Check. Um, gracious send off. Get even more fans. Uh, we'll give you endo. Do 
I guess we'll send her your way then. Check. Uh, Gracious send off. Send. Oh, why, why did it not? Why did it do more? Uh, praise girl, heal her up a little bit because she's that's not the highest HP. Send her that way. Check HP, praise, recover that a little bit. It's honestly just smooth sailing. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, send Sekio. Meta. Help, please. Towel. Check. Ah, uh, give you a reward. Excellent. Check. Praise, because you don't have a lot of HP, anyways. Check. Extend session. Help. Guest glass. Help, please. Guest glass. Go ahead and go with Kayuki. Then once sits down. Party fever. I was hoping to get there. Check. Gracious send off. Fly in my face. Did you stop? Oh. Check. Send session, because we just... We want to make this... We want to make him feel... Well, we want to make Zen, or the owner, feel bad about himself, but not the other girl, because she's going to be joining us. Hope. Guest class. Oh, she's almost three mil from the tonight alone. Only ten guests. Jeez. Paradise League promotion. Cool. And that's sweet money. And the winner is... Satinbori for shine. And with that, the Fresh League has a fresh new champion. But we did it. We beat the snot out of the sweet. Yeah. You guys did great out there. Impossible. Uh, I'm sorry. You proved just how useless you are today, Kana. Be gone. The group has no further need of you. What? Just like that? Huh? Really? Kanzaki, Kanzaki group is the embodiment of perfection. Make all the excuses you want, but you lost to this ding, uh, dingy club, and you've sullied our name in doing so. Don't make the mistake of showing your faces before me again. Yuki-san, 
and carry you, was it? Seems I've underestimated you. But with the Paradise League up next, you'll still find yourselves, well, out of your league. Throw yourselves a little party if you want tonight, but there will be no mercy next time. You're right. There won't be any mercy. Farewell. And stay out. Ugh. It really gets under my skin. Mine too. It's like he has a talent for it. Well, the good news is that we get to move on to the next league. Yes, this is far from over. So, what are you going to do about this? Hmm? He just got us fired. We finally found a club where we didn't have to try. Did you get lazy or something? If you pulled more weight, we'd still have our jobs. What? You're the one who said who just said you didn't try. I was really hustling the whole time. Are you giving us a lip now? You're just uh, stuck up because people think you're cute. She gets one compliment and she suddenly thinks she's the queen. What a prissy bitch. No, that's... Hey, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, this is an A-B conversation. Maybe see your way out of it. Gosh, the 90s called. No, I've decided that you should be ashamed of yourselves ganging up on poor con like that. Nice comeback. What? I'm not the I'm not one to pick fights, but you two are totally useless tonight. Even I could tell Kana was the only one doing any work. You're both just just big old buttheads. Excuse you? Psst. If she throws a punch, you'll break it up, right? Yeah. Kana-chan was radiant out there tonight. Every customer from her table's up with an ear-to-ear -ear grin. And you tell her to work harder? I'm sorry, but are your eyes working, or are they just decorations for your noses? What? Who do you think you are? I like that girl. <laughs> yeah. Kana-chan. Don't you dare take what these haters say said to heart. You were awesome. So stay confident, okay? Uh, um... Right. Thank you. Oh, now you're gonna snuggle up to the enemy? This is so lame. Let's go. And have a fun trip back to Loserville. Hey, okay, san Thank you. It's all good. I'm sorry, too. I didn't mean to escalate things like that. I was pretty sure you were gonna get punched. Well, we're all guilty of adding fuel to the fire sometimes. But it's still not good. Yeah. Uh, is that what I did? I guess I'll be more careful from, from now on. On the bright side, I think you made a lasting impression. We can bill you as the fire-breathing hostess or something. Hey, that's good. But what? That's not, okay? <laughs> You're laughing too? Forshine seems like a fun club. This is how I want my club to be too. I only became a hostess after Gonzaki-san scouted me for the job. But I found the job fun, and Gonzaki-san seemed to have high expectations for me, so I worked my hardest to meet them. But, the older girls didn't seem to like me because of that. The better my results, the more nasty things they said about me. That's terrible. But I couldn't let that be an excuse. So I worked through it, and yet, I still lost everything in the end. If only I had, and if I'd endured it better, maybe I could have worked harder to make it up for him. Kana-chan. That isn't right at all. What? Cabaret club isn't something you can bear all by yourself. The girls, the staff, the manager. Everyone has to work together to earn every smile. It's a team effort. Kiryu-san. So trying to carry all that by yourself, you would break even the strongest of us. If you can't share the struggles, you can share the if you can share the struggles, you can share the joy too. Isn't it the same way with friends? Friends. You're right. I tried to carry it all alone. I didn't want to depend on anyone but myself so they wouldn't hate me. But if I never thought of anyone around me as a friend, how could I expect them to treat me any differently? Kana chan. Well, if you'd like, you want to become our friend? What? Might be small compared to the Kanzaki group, but I think this club might be just what you always wanted, Kana-chan. 
Kayuki chan. And I I and I think I'd like to be your friend too. Is that okay? Of course. If you'll have me, I'd love to. Wonderful. Thanks, Kana-chan. Excellent. Kaiki chan sure looks happy. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a fight to make us grow. I know the feeling. Oh. I knew it'd be rough, but I didn't expect Kana-chan to actually lose. I'm more perturbed that such a chintzy club would disgrace the Kanzaki name. I'm rather pleased, to be honest. Ha! Well, we have strongest establishments in the Paradise League. They have no chance this time, right, Aika? Probably not. I mean, I'll fight to win, but I still plan on having a good time. Aika-san, we're such a free spirit for a shine. I'll remember this. Excellent. So let's see. What was I looking at? You walked this way. And you were just like, what? Speak to you. Hey, okay, Kiri san, hello again. Okay. Oh, it looks like we got a chance for... Let's see. Is there any... Oh, it would be on your completion list. So we'll do... Curious on, hmm? You're in high spirits, what's up? Um, can we go out to eat again? Another meal with Kayuki, huh? Yeah, let's go for another one. Yay, let's go then. We got time. It's only been... Yeah, what, 40 odd minutes plus? <laughs> Thanks for coming out with me again. No problem. You're in an awfully good mood. <laughs> Am I? Maybe that's because I'm out on the town with you. Yeah, you're getting pretty good at this hostess game, Kayuki. Perfect. Hey, I was being genuine. Oh, oops. Sorry. Anyway, shall we order? Yes, thank you. I'm starving. <laughs> it's so nice to go out with you, Kiryu-san. Yeah? Feeling a little less nervous, then? Yep. I'm totally fine now. But you know, just the two of us eating together... Feels kind of like a date. Hmm? Isn't it? I always assumed this was a date the whole time. What, 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 what? This is a date? But aren't dates for... Lovers? I thought that was Ohio. What? You okay? You seem pretty flustered. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, I was finally getting over being nervous, and now I'm nervous again. Besides, the manager of data hostess, isn't that frowned upon in this business? As long as we don't cross any lines, it's fine. Cross lines? Yeah, I mean, keep it light and playful. Nothing too serious. So you're just playing with me? You're terrible, Kiryu-chan. Uh, oh, no, that's not right. That's... I mean, it'd pro be problematic if we were talking, taking this seriously, but a date, like, I didn't read all that. Yeah, right, you're playing with me either way. What a womanizer. That's... Always choose, like, the worst options. But you almost lost it there for a second. Not much experience with dates, Kayuki? Um, well, how do I put this? What's wrong? 
Is it something you'd rather not say? Oh, Kiryu-san. Please don't laugh. Never been on a date. I have no experience with dates or relationships or any of that stuff. That's so. I admit it's surprising. Right? It's weird to have no relationship experience by the time you're 21. Guys are leaving you alone, Kayuki. They're all fools. Kiryu-san. That's such a Kiryu-san thing to say. Back on the right track now? A flatterer or not, I'm happy to hear it. Thank you. It's not flattery. I think you're very attractive. Back to being flustered. Nope. Being new at a relationship isn't so terrible. Don't treat it like a flaw. If you don't, but if you find someone worth pursuing, don't miss the chance, okay? Okay, thank you. I'll make sure he never escapes. Yep. Never escapes. But no relationship experience, huh? You're so cute. I thought you'd have your pick. Hardly. I went to an all-girls school for junior high and high school. In college, it's the same way. But some girls still manage to get boyfriends. Oh, did they? Yeah, so maybe I've got no one to blame but myself. Maybe I'm just not sexy enough? Sexy. Yeah, I have such a baby face and no real style. Wouldn't you say I'd get a big fat zero on sexy? Is my phone going off? Shut up. Got an inferior, inferiority complex about it. And generally go for a sexy woman with great style, don't they? Oh, everyone has their preferences. Is that an option? What matters is on the inside. She could have style or whatever, but I still wouldn't date a shallow person. I'm sure some guy would want she to be stylish, but just ignore guys like that. Kiryu-san, do you mean that? It's such a perfect answer, it's a little suspect. I'm serious. I can see how attractive you are, Kayuki. Really? Flatter or not, it's nice to hear it. Thank you. Up the bar? I can see how attractive you are too, Kiryu-san. Anyway, don't worry about your complex. Maybe better... It may bother you, but not anyone else. You're plenty attractive, Kayuki. Try to be confident in that. I will, Kiryu-san. Your words have so much weight. You're like a relationship master. Heh, <laughs> not in the slightest. To be honest, Pegja is a man of many relationships. If you tell me, I'd love to hear about your love life, just a little. The one woman I've ever loved in my life died and I'm raising her daughter. There is this one woman I loved with all my heart. That said, she's gone far away now. What? I, I mean, oh. If only I lived better, maybe things would have turned out differently. Some days the regrets hit me like that, but I know there's no do-overs in life. 
Kiryu-san. Sorry, that got heavy, didn't it? Yeah, heavy is right, but I'm the one who asked. Look, I'm gonna be honest. And whoever she is, I'm sure she's happy to know you still think about her. Though, I'm sure it sounds silly coming from someone as inexperienced as me. No, thank you. You shouldn't have to cheer me up, Kayuki. Normal. More experience. So I think each one that girl had like four, maybe. I'm full. Yeah, good. I guess we should head back then. Had a lot of fun today, Kiryu-san. I'm glad to hear it. Hope we can do this again. Sure, sounds good. Yay. Sweet, almost level 30. I think 40 is max? I don't know. So let's end it. I think that's a good ending point. I want to grind, though. Let's talk to her. Get out son. Are you ready to start taking on the Paradise League? Are these clubs going to be all that different? Well, the Paradise League is full of those shot-pounding, cork-popping, let's-get-the-good-times-rolled types, you know? Not really. You know, party people. The type who order a champagne tower before they even sit down. They're always like, yeah, so wasted, and woo, this party's off the chain, or whatever it is they're saying these days. Remember, this is 2006. Hmm, okay, so they're kind of people who thrive on a high-energy atmosphere. Not really my style. Me neither. That's why we need some girls in here who can really kick things up a notch. So we match high-energy customers with high-energy girls. Sounds right to me. Just so you know, the league champion is Aika, also known as the Party Queen. I take a share on the title. Well, when it comes to brightening a mood, she's always world-class. They say she can turn a funeral into a party. Wow, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Yeah, so I think we're gonna need to make sure our girls can hold their own at a party. Hmm, good point. Oh, hey you two. Kayuki-chan, Kana-chan, what's up? Well, since Kana-chan just joined us and all, I was hoping we could throw her a little welcoming party. That's thoughtful of you. Thanks, it's something I like to make a habit of. Well, we were just talking about learning how to be more upbeat. And it'd be a good team building experience too. Then it's settled. No time like the present. Uh, Zobu Rai would be a perfect spot for this Kiryu-san. You're footing the bill. I am. Yay! Not yay. Well, we got the money, Kiryu. If I'm not mistaken, this is where we were grinding to fill out the life uh, skills list. Yes, got plenty of money. Oh, it's so nice being out having drinks with you. Why is the, it like that? Yeah, we've been so busy lately. It's been hard to find the time. Then I say we let the drinks flow tonight. Let's drink. Oh, let's. Oh, you can John save. Oh, okay. Me and my dyslexic ass. Wait, when did this become a meeting? That's right, this is also supposed to be... A welcoming party. Kana's the new addition to the team. And you're a new manager, Kiryu-san. I'm excited to be working with you guys. Anyway, Kiryu-san and Kana-chan almost doubled our team. It's great we have you both on board. Absolutely. You're too kind. How old are you, Kana-chan? Oh, X. Oh, do tell. I'm 20, just old enough to drink. Wow, younger than me. I'm 21. Nice, you're the big sis then. Big sis, that's a first for me. I like it, but you have a younger brother. Oh. How old are you? 38. 
Younger than me? Really? <laughs> Yuki, my lady. That's way too formal. No, 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 no. I'm no spring chink chicken, though. Give yourself some credit. Chan. Did you come to Sotenbori often? No, the tournament was my first time. Uh, it's exciting to ride the... I can't even read that. You end up buying a lot from the train shops. I never... I don't even know what this is doing. Our next company trip should be to the Sink Assassin. Where should we go? In Tokyo, maybe? That'd be nice, but not in the budget, so we'd have to pay our own way. Lucky me? Oh. Ah. Oh. No, I admit it. That's her pretty nerve-wracking. That's how Sattenbury feels at first. Gotta be careful of some characters in those crowds, okay? Yeah, they're dangerous. You're cute. You're, so you're bound to get attention. Y yikes. It almost starts coming on to you too strong. Call me, I'll be in there in a flash. Oh, how gallant, Kiryu-san. If it comes down to it, I'll count on you then. All the same, I've never been catcalled. Kayuki-chan, are you saying that you want to be? Or not? Oh. No way, I'm not talking about guys who... I'm not talking about guys who think that works, but a girl who wants to have an enough charm to draw some eyes. Oh, I see. So complicated. True. Okay. You know, I get guys coming up to me all the time. It's not all that's cracked up to be. I think it's probably different, Kiryu-chan. Well, true enough. Are we done with this? Oh, thank god. It's only downhill for here. Let's go to- oh. Sure, sounds good. You guys. Only one choice. Kanzaki's going down. He'll regret ever letting me go. You guys, I'll do my part as the owner too. Now let's call it a night with a battle cry. Well, that was a fun night. That was the first time I really got to sit down and talk to people this whole year. Kind of, John. This year is almost over. Okay, so the. Okay. I was, gonna, I was wondering if that there was, like, any point to any of that. Well, we might have to get to know each other, so... Won't you say we're all a little closer? You're right. I feel like I know Yuki-san and Kana-san better already. But next time, I want to dig up some dirt on Kiryu-san. Oh, that sounds good. Heh. <laughs> Let's save that for another time. With strong bonds like this, we should have no problem taking on... Osaka's Heaven's Goddess. Alrighty, so that's all of that. Anything else here? No. Probably not until we do more, at least another day's worth of uh, opening. So now we will call it. Go ahead, talk. That always distracts me. There we go. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, consider leaving me a like. It really does help me out. You can maybe let me know what you're thinking of everything so far down in the comments section below. Are you enjoying the uh, Cabaret Club Grand Prix? That's the words. If you haven't already, also consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. I'll let you know when more Yakuza is on its way. Also, I'll add this in there because I have it in the yes episodes I've put out in total. You can also find my Twitter in the description as well, and I do a bunch of updates through there as well, so you can follow me on Twitter as well. 
That's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.